little more on the jazz in the box. There, here's the the part with the B bender. And all I'm doing is just. But I'm keeping that bass going at the same time, and I'm muting the bass like that. And that's just a little pull off. And that's a little uh, Albert Lee thing. Double stops. And I'm just kind of keeping that seventh here. And then I do this ninth chord. And it's just like if you had a G chord, the bottom part of a G chord here. And you just, the, the, top, the bottom three strings. And then the third, first, and second strings are open. And then um, just make a little melody out of a chord. Sometimes, and sometimes I'll go. I'll just play it different sometimes, but usually. And then. And I was telling Adam that uh, it's amazing. I used to do that on the uh, electric guitar and no one paid any attention to it because everybody could do that, you know. But when I started doing it on an acoustic guitar, I was like, wow, you know, string bends on an acoustic, a B bender, you know. And uh, But it's the same thing, really. And uh, But you must pay attention to the string changing part if you're going to do that. And uh, we'll add that also onto the guitar lessons. But all I do is I take these two fingers here and I, and I, on this guitar, I push up like this. Just like you would on a Telecaster. Now on the Taylor, because the neck was shaped differently, I would actually pull up, uh, push up towards the ceiling like this. But on the Olsen, this still stays in tune pretty good. But on the Olsen, uh, Mr. Olson actually sent me a little higher, or a little, it's a little bit higher tuner, uh, the height of this, just a little bit higher than these. And uh, I wrap the string uh, around where I, it, it's over the top of these uh, of the other windings. So when I go down, I get all the lift I can and then push down. And you have to use two fingers. If you use one, it'll cut you, I'm afraid. It's too much pressure. With two fingers, it's less pressure. And with the thumb, I grab the back of the headstock, and that's the way I do it on this. And most acoustic guitars you do that with. Uh, the Taylor was just the easiest for me because I, I, it just my fingers went right you know, between the, the, uh, the tuners like they do here, but this headstock is bigger. And there's obviously a reason for that. It's not just the shape of it. And, uh, but a lot of the sound of your guitar comes, of course, comes out of the neck. And uh, Mr. Olson does a fine job building these things, so I don't second guess that. I just learn how to do it differently. And so it still works, doesn't matter. <laughs> and, and then the little Nashville. And that's a, I said a while ago, 13th would flat. I could not think of what chord that was, but it's, it's just a raised ninth. And, and, uh, and then like I did on, on the, uh, the harmonic, remember that part? And then, but on this one, um, on this one, I'm just going to do a string band. And uh, as Chet Atkins says, well, you know, when you play a song, again, don't do it the same way. Don't just repeat yourself the same time, way uh, every time. And so this is just really a series of riffs uh, around a little jazz uh, chordal movement type thing. Yeah. And so here it is.
think I was flat there. And that's the little thing that sounded like, I think I may have gotten that from Dan Crary years ago. It's a little Nashville sounding thing. And I like to hit it like that because you're on the 12th fret. If you let go of it, it, it creates a little harmonic on that first string. Sometimes more than others. <laughs> There he is. And I'm just catching that for third string. And then da 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 with, with the bass going, out, you know. And so all of those are just little riffs and things together uh, for jazz in a box. And those are, again, the little, the, uh, little organ things. And those are, those are just little, little triads, triads. And that's just a little movement down on a ninth chord. And you keep that E on this one. And then move it on down the whole chord. Just leave the E on just that, the second one. And then. And again, let that first string ring, ring out. There's a lot in jazz in a box, but those are just a few of the little signature, little riffs and things. And well, maybe they're, I've stolen them. Probably Chet would have said that's petty theft. And I probably lifted some of that from a lot of guys, but that's, uh, that's all part of having fun and playing the guitar. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. And the string bend, once again, two fingers like this. And when you're doing this on other, other uh, songs, uh, alternate tunings, we may go through some of that, and I'll show you some of the later on how I, I use that same thing on Wabash Cannonball. Have fun, guys. Until next time.